It's a battle for bragging rights on the hardwood as the top youth players from Santa Cruz County take on their counterparts from Monterey County. The hoop season is extended for one more day as the Central Coast Middle School All-Star Classic tips off next on CTV Sports. And welcome inside the gymnasium here at Scotts Valley High School, where today CTV Sports is proud to present the inaugural Central Coast Middle School All-Star Classic, a basketball doubleheader showcasing the top 7th and 8th graders in the north, that's Santa Cruz County, against the top All-Stars from Monterey County, representing the south. And hello, everyone. I'm Nar Wang. I'm pleased to be joined by the longtime Santa Cruz County resident and noted basketball gym rat, John Pengelly. And John... I know this is a benefit all-star game. We're going to get into that a little bit later and explain how this all works, but it's still an all-star showcase for these kids. They're going to take it seriously, aren't they? Absolutely. Hey, we have professionals. We have the college. We have the high school. Let's kick it down a couple notches and go to the middle school, junior high. Today's going to be a great day to see some one-on-one -on -one skills and some fundamental basketball. We're looking forward to that. So when we come back, we'll set it all up for you. Starting lineups, we'll introduce the coaches, so you get to know everyone today on CTV Sports, the Central Coast Middle School All-Star Classic. And welcome back to Scotts Valley, where today it's a doubleheader of basketball, the Central Coast Middle School All-Star Classic. And it, of course, is presented by CTV Sports, which is a presentation of Community Television of Santa Cruz County, a nonprofit membership organization serving county residents by providing education and tools to access media. Visit us at communitytv.org. And by Cruz.io Internet, Santa Cruz County's largest independent internet service provider, offering high-speed wireless internet, a co-location data center, and flexible workspaces with 10 gigabits of fiber internet. Details online at cruiseio.com. The All-Star Classic and television broadcast have been made possible in part by a generous grant from the Owl family. Central Coast Diamond Fusion and Window Cleaning. Using patented Diamond Fusion nanotechnology restores the luster in glass, ceramic tile, porcelain, and granite. Commercial, residential, and auto glass and services can shine like new. Find out more at centralcoastdiamondfusion.com. The Central Coast Motorcycle, Motocross, and Moped Store. The Nobby Shop is an authorized dealer for Cobra and TM motorcycles, along with Tomos Mopeds. Nobby Shop offers quality service, parts, gear, and accessories for all your street, motocross, ATV, and quad needs. All bikes prepared and prep services available. In Soquel, on Rodeo Gulch, or on the web at nobbyshop.com. And welcome here inside, Nara Wang, John Pangeli here for the Central Coast Middle School All-Star Classic at Scotts Valley High School. A big event, the first of its kind. Let's take a look at the teams first, the MJTAL standings, how they ended up this year in the boys' seventh grade. Well, absolutely, it was dominated by Palma, who went 14-0 at first place finish, but coming in right behind Palma at 10-4 is Buena Vista. Buena Vista, in their postseason tournament, round one, Buena Vista over North Monterey County and Carmel over Palma, with the championship, Buena Vista over Car Carmel. So what a tight matchup there. All right, now let's take a look at the South coach, Todd Kessler, the man in the goatee. Oh, the man, he is throwing down some big time WWF wrestling look for us right there. Todd's a big guy, wouldn't want to get caught in the post with him. He'll be assisted by Henry Rapier, the father of one of the players, Gavin, on the South seventh grade team. And now the keys for Todd Kessler's South team. Okay, first of all, Todd wants his players to play some solid defense. Get in your stance, get up in them, utilize the fundamentals. Also, utilize the strong post players. Obviously, Todd has played the post, so he's going to be showing that instruction there. And also, once again, Nara, the, day, the, the season has been extended. Let's enjoy this experience. It's great to be out here healthy, playing the greatest game in the world, basketball. All right, now on the north side, the Central Coast Athletic League boys' seventh grade standings. Oh boy, we had one heck of a finish in the seventh grade standings. Notre Dame and Mission Hill tied up at 7-1, but that doesn't show the true story. What happened this year is Mission Hill beat Notre Dame early in the season by 25 points, but in the finals of the season-ending tournament, Notre Dame 
behind Sandor Rodriguez led Notre Dame back for a victory and the championship at the season of the end tournament. There's the coach of Mission Hill at the time and our North coach today, Pat Jones, and what a storied book career Pat has had as a player at Santa Cruz, also coaching the girls varsity along with his wife, Monique. And here are his keys to the game. Okay, Pat's gonna be fundamentally sound. He's from the Pete Newell School of Coaching. Solid ball handling, utilize a balanced team and hit the boards. One thing I tell you about Pat, Nara is I coached with them in an all-star game once and I learned more in one week of coaching with him than I did with several years coaching for other coaches. He brings it to the basics of fundamentals. Great coach, great demeanor. Never going to get on his players. Always going to talk them up. And he'll be assisted today by Chris Rose, the JV boys basketball coach at SoCal. And here are the South starters today. We're going to have Abraham Calderon at the point. They've got two other guards on the wings, Cooper Smith and Trevor Simon. And up front, Jeremy Heitzman at the power forward and at the center position, Gavin Rapier. On the north side, you talked about him already, Sandor Rene Rodriguez is the point. They've got Tanner Kane Murray at the shooting guard. And the small forward position is Nick Rose, son of Chris Rose. And Joe Ord is going to be at one forward position. And the other forward is the son of Pat Jones, Cameron Jones. Cameron Jones. And he's just been getting great schooling down in the low block. Pat's been with him for about five years. All right, so when we come back, we'll have the opening tip-off of the Central Coast Middle School All-Star Classic from Scotts Valley right here on CTV Sports. Welcome back to CTV Sports presentation of the Central Coast Middle School All-Star Classic coming to you from Scotts Valley High School Gymnasium. Nara Wang and John Pengelly here for CTV Sports. And we're just about ready to get things underway with the seventh grade game, North versus South, Santa Cruz County versus Monterey County. John, the seventh grade game, the future stars really of this county. Yeah, absolutely, Nora. As a uh, uh, running basketball tournaments in the junior high for the last 18 years, I can tell you that I've seen people come in from the uh, junior high ranks and go right into high school and continue their superstardom, if you will, around the Santa right. Cruz and Monterey County. Uh, from the Santa Cruz teams, that state championship team, a lot of players started out in junior high. Um, uh, just a couple people to watch tonight is I want our viewers to watch the ball handling and skills of some of these seventh graders a lot better than when we were uh, uh, bouncing that ball around at Cabrillo College on all those camps we went to and everything like that. But really going to be fun to come on out here. I mean, no, think about it. If it was just me and you back in seventh grade and we got invited to playing a game like this, how fun would that be? I mean, the excitement level off the charts. I mean, when I played, they had peach baskets. I don't know about you. Maybe they, they cut out the <laughs> hole in the peach basket for me. Yeah, we got a nice crowd here tonight. I mean, everybody out supporting our youth, and that's where it starts, Nara. It starts at the home, and these kids are getting a lot of support. So, And, yeah, and we're going to have the organizer of this tournament, the founder of the tournament, Reggie Stevens, San Cruz High School legend, here to talk about it in the halftime explain. It's going to go for scholarship money for these kids, hopefully down the line as yeah, well. Yeah, Reggie's just a, a great guy. I had an opportunity to uh, – Reggie played football, obviously, but he played in the uh, Summer Classic Basketball Tournament, and at his height he was throwing down some dunks and – so it's going to be great to talk to him about it. Exactly. So the North squad, the home team, so they'll be wearing their white. They're wearing their school unis. And the South squad from Monterey County will be in the black, dark jerseys as the road team. So tipping it off for North against South, it's going to be Gavin Rapier for the South and Joe Ord for the North. And South wins the tip. Ball going inside. Heitzman will kick it out to Cooper Smith. Smith finding Abraham Calderon, the little point guard. Dumps it inside to Gavin Rapier, and the first foul of the game will be on Joe Ord, the SLV. Yeah, nice post-up move by uh, number 43, Heitzman. Or, excuse me, 34, Gavin Rapier. Good, good post-up move there. Rapier, 13-year-old, six feet tall already. Plays for Buena Vista Middle School in Salinas. A lot of the kids on this team, you can see, wearing the Buena Vista uniform. Yeah, nice free throw form by Gavin right there, getting his SOP down. That's standard operating procedure. Tiger does it on the golf course. I teach my kids at the free throw line. So a quick 2-0 lead for the South as the North comes back the other way. Nick Rose 
We'll kick it to the corner. The three-point shot from Rodriguez is no good. And Heitzman with the board. Yeah, Sandra just plugged that one in from the side. A little early for that. He's, he's more of a, a tempo player, and he loves that up-tempo basketball. Calderon, three, top of the key, drains it. Oh. Five, nothing south. Oh, Abraham Calderon, nothing but the twine. North Monterey County Middle School product. And there, turnover by the North. Not nice. the other way. The big man, Rapier, will find Smith for the layup. And a quick 7 nothing run to start in the first minute of the game. Uh, Calderon and Smith. Hey, one thing about this South group, uh, Nara, is there are a lot of Buena Vista players, so the chemistry is a little bit, bit, bit tighter. Now check out the overplay here, folks. This is a great job by Buena Vista and Calderon, and a nice dish early. You want to dish that pass off early in that fast break, and it was a good job, good transition move. Rapier, the big man, passing it off to the little man Rapier, for the finish. Yeah. Usually the opposite, but right there, good job. And South leading 7 nothing. just less than a minute into the game. Pat Jones having to call the quick T.O. Yeah, and like I said, I be, Pat is, uh, these coaches, hey, yeah, it's an amateur game. Doesn't mean anything. Let's face it. You want the W in the All-Star game, Nara. And Pat just wanted to, right now, that's a smart timeout to get. There's a shot of Cooper Smith. Coop. We're going to call him Coop today. So the team's getting ready to go back out on the floor. North going right to left on your TV screen. So Sandor Rene Rodriguez from Moreland, Notre Dame brings it up. Inside, Ord will kick it to Rose. Now Rodriguez to Cameron Jones and up and in. Oh, good job by Cameron right there. Cameron works the paint really well. And Cameron's got no excuse not to be a good player. That's his right. His dad is Pat and his mom is Monique, oh, the yeah. co-coaches at Santa Cruz High girls team. No excuses there. Oh, but the move by Rapier to put it in for two. Hey, Gavin did a nice spin move right there. Very comfortable around the hoop. Now Rose on the right wing. The kick out for the three, just off, and Rapier with the rebound. That was Tanner Kane Murray of SLV with the shot. Rapier all over the all over the floor. The turnover by Nikhil Manny Maron and North dribbling down behind the back. Rodriguez looking for Ord just a bit behind on the turnover. Well, I think the North is going to need that up tempo game. Now Smith looking for someone to get it to. He gets it to Calderon. Oh, he right could wing. fire. And he fires oh, it in. AC, AC is cool. AC is cool, baby. 12-2 South early in the first quarter. It looks like a Buena Vista's out in the 3-2 zone, and they're just trying to crunch it. The North just trying to crunch it into the Cam Jones. Couldn't do it. Heitzman, another board for the South. And now Smith dropping it for Cotterone. Already has two, thought about another one. Now Smith trying to go baseline. Tanner, Kane Murray shuts him off and gets the steal. Oh, good pick by Tanner. Got to play some D to catch back up, North. And he wants to go coast to coast. Just off and Rapier grabs the board. Rapier working, working hard out there. Rapier has very good size for someone in his seventh grade year, already listed at six feet tall. Now Cooper Smith, the Buena Vista Bobcat, looking for his teammate, Calderon. And if you're looking at the uh, North team, you're looking at a standard man-to-man -man defense. No zone in Pat, Pat Jones' diary. The lefty up uh, Smith and then Rose with the board. Might have gotten away with a little shuffle there. But Rodriguez will bring it back for the North. And he looks to go all the way, a little too hard. Ord couldn't get the board. And now Calderon pushing. Sandor forced that one. And the foul call there on the North squad will take Cotteron to the line to shoot two. Well, if it's any indication of how he shoots from the three-point line, these should be like chocolate cupcakes. Rodriguez called for the foul. Called on a 5-3 guard out of North Monterey County. Hey, he needs to back up, Nora. I think AC needs to back up. That's where he hits the twine. A couple of substitutes into the game. Coming in for the south side, we got Trevor Simon and Daniel Higman. Simon, another Buena Vista kid, and Higman, a Carmel Cougar. So second free throw. Calderon makes it, 13-2, south by 11. So it looks like the north, the only 
the success they have is going inside to Cam Jones right now because the outside shot's not working. Zone defense working well so far. Kane Murray with the miss. And it'll stay North basketball. Pat Jones, Coach Pat Jones, he loves to work that inside out game and that short corner. Hit the guy at the free throw line and have him work high and low. It's almost like a high low. Ford inbounds, gets it right back. The jump stop in the lane, called for the walk. Too many steps. Yeah, too many steps on that one. Got a little excited there. So it looks like all the kids on the south are wearing Buena Vista unis, yeah. even though they're not all Buena Vista yeah. kids. Now Calderon, left side. Swings it back around. Oh. And the driving layup good by Trevor Simon. Oh, Simon went hard to the rack right there. Nice right-hand drive. Simon, 5'10", out of Buena Vista. Boy, Buena Vista had a pretty good team. Oh, look at Rodriguez from way downtown. No good. Long rebound goes to Simon. Now Simon up the right side, waiting for his teammates. Looks like Pat Jones getting ready for a line change substitution. As the ball goes out of bounds. And here we go. The North, five men in. Oh, the shuffle. It's the Pat Jones shuffle. So maybe maybe the kids on the on the north had a little uh, butterflies right there. No doubt about it. I'm sure if you have butterflies, it means you care. Nothing wrong with that. But we have a, a slew of north players into the game. I see Evo Lasich from Notre Dame is in there. Also number two, Jack Biddle. Number 23, Jack Wolf from Aptos. And 45, big Ruben Ibarra. And Otis Lamakia, 22, guarding the inbound. See if this group, what this group can do. Boy, they come in down 15-2. It's going to be tough. And Joe Ord already has two fouls, so that's another reason he needs to sit down for the North. So Wolf, tough defense right there on Trevor Mulhern. Now Cooper Smith looking to go baseline. Lefty swings it over to Mulhern, who drives, puts it off glass, just off, and the rebound pulled down by Mission Hills' Ruben Ibarra. I love those mic'd rims, man. We're getting a really good feel out of, out of our headphones on this. Now let's see what this North backup crew can do. Jack Wolf, Aptos Junior High, Sea Dragon, 13-year-old, 5'7", kicks it to the corner. Oh, he's got to take that, I think, Nara. Lamakia not looking for the shot. Ibarra, the big man, used up his dribble, has to kick it out. They're going back inside. The repost. And swinging around for three. Off glass, no. And the rebound pulled down by the South Higman push it up ahead to Mulhern off the glass, and Ibarra will look ahead to Wolf. Too far. Simon with the steal on that. Wow, I love the up and down game. Now, a couple of sloppy possessions by both yeah. teams. Wolf trying to drive. Oh, and the scoop up and in. Little little Ricky Rubio there by Jack Wolf. JW, nice scoop layup. His favorite pro athlete, Monte Ellis. That was a Monte oh, Ellis esque move. Absolutely. Now the three from the lefty, Simon. Oh, Trevor Simon, the southpaw from three. 18-4, South is just on fire this quarter. Trevor Simon, quick five points for him off the bench. Lamakia throws it away. Simon everywhere for the South squad. You got to fake high, then go low, or fake low and go high. You got to put a ball fake in there. Smith, kick it out to Simon. Just made it three, last possession down. Inside, Smith, the little man, reverse layup, no good. Higman tried to tip it up. Now Rapier saves it for the south. Rapier just an animal on both the offensive and defensive boards. Look at that reverse pivot, shot. Gavin Rapier. The fundamentals. Unbelievable. I mean, that's good stuff right there. Gavin having a great first quarter. Lamakia swinging a wolf. Now left side. They go around the horn and the three thrown up and no good by Lasich. And the South right now just keeping it one and done for the North. Yeah, ball. great offensive uh, defensive rebounding by the by the South. Under a minute to go here in the first quarter. South dominating play here in the Central Coast Middle School All-Star Classic. But the turnover there and the North will have a chance with just under 40 seconds left. You know, if if they can start hitting those outside shots. It's going to stretch your defense. Then the middle will be open. But until you start hitting, there's nothing. They're in a 3-2 zone. That baseline shot's going to be open. And they're missing it. That's where the shot's going to come from. Lamakia misses the corner three. Now Mulhern. I like this Mulhern. Good ball handling skills. Little man, 13-year-old from Buena Vista. Simon out to Smith for three. Straight away, good. 
Wow, what a first quarter for the South. Great job, guys. 23 points. The North just shooting two of 11 from the field. Evil's got to cast it. And Evil it. drains the three from the right corner. And that is the end of the first quarter. The South, Monterey County 23, North, Santa Cruz County 7. Yeah, one thing you're going to have in Pat Jones' huddle is a no panic situation right now. But Pat is a great coach, and what he did right there, uh, Buena Vista is playing a 3-2 zone. So the baseline is going to be open. We saw Sandor take a couple. Evo uh, hit one right there. So it's only a matter of time before they get cranking. And let's take a look at this day oh, in basketball history. On March 11th, 1892, the first basketball game was played in public. The Springfield College students taking on the faculty at a local YMCA. The students dominated, winning five to one. The one was scored by a name you might have heard of, Amos Alonzo Stagg. He was an instructor. He scored the only goal for the faculty. He went on to fame, of course, Mosher as a football coach, but Look at that, 5-1. Hey, and look at that. That's that peach basket I was talking about. That's what you, that was what you were shooting on. Nora, I went to that YMCA, and I stepped, I have a picture of me on those steps in Springfield, Massachusetts. I was just I, out at the Basketball Hall of Fame in Springfield that, a couple weeks is ago. That the, a great, great place. Great experience. So let's take a look here at some replays from the first quarter of action. Here's Gavin Rapier with that. The big man throwing to the little man, Cooper Smith. A little vice versa there, and I'm sure uh, Rapier's going to get a little feedback right there. Here's Cam Jones in the inside. It seemed like they were successful inside with Cam Jones. And again, if they can establish an inside presence, then that outside game will pick up. A couple of stats for you from the first quarter of action. The South, four for four from downtown three-point range. That's 12 yeah. points right there. Meanwhile, the North overall shooting just three for 12. Right. Can they, can they uh, keep that up? So second quarter action. Still have the second unit for the North in there. And the drive by Lasich, no good. Gets his own board. Kick out to Lamakia. Lamakia trying to penetrate the zone from the south. Here's Lasich, right corner three, just off the mark. Higman boards it for the south and gets it to Mulhern to push it up. Trevor Mulhern, 13-year-old Buena Vista Bobcat. His favorite player, Kevin Durant. Oh, the tarantula. And now Trevor Simon, who had a big first quarter. Looking to Smith. Smith, another lefty, puts it up. No good, Lasich grabs the rebound and will kick it out ahead to Wolf. Wolf tries to go behind the back. And it's out of bounds. It'll stay North basketball. Well, good job by, by the North getting back on defense to thwart Wolf's efforts for that fast break. Great job. A lot of quickness out there. Inbounds goes to Biddle. Biddle grants a 40 middle school. Now Biddle's got to fake that pass. He's got to fake high or go low, like we said earlier. He's smaller, so he's got to use the ball fakes to his advantage. There's that short corner to Lassett, that inside-outside game. And inside, Ruben Ibarra gets the layup to give the North their ninth point of the game. And again, that's the coaching of Pat Jones. He will find a way to get it done. Ibarra, just his first year of playing organized basketball. He's a wrestler and a football player. Also plays some baseball. Nice defense by the North right there. Get another best. Slowly crawling back. Get big possession right here. Keep the momentum going. They're going to work that Lasich short corner. Wolf top of the key. Now Lamakia for the three. A little bit long, but Lasich with the board. Kick it out to Wolf. Wolf pump fake, drive, oh, nice. jump stop in the lane. Good. Nice, nice job by Wolf right there. The pump fake. We got the defender to leave his feet, and he made, he made his way to the basket. 23-11, south up, Mulhern the three, high arcing, no good, Lamakia rips the board. Now Wolf will bring it up. Right now, if you're Coach Rapier, you might want to change your defense because they're getting very uh, used to this 3-2. Lamakia, the quick move, just a bit short, tapped out of bounds, and North basketball. Yeah, Lamakia's getting looks all the time, and here comes the Pat Jones shuffle once again. It's like ice hockey. Put in the whole brand new unit, there you line go. change. So the starters for Santa Cruz County back in. Good job by the, we'll call it unit B. Second the, unit. I don't like that second you don't like unit. That? No, I used to be on the third unit, <laughs> that's why. Brings back bad memories. <laughs> and Biddle there with the reach in foul. Ball will be taken out of bounds, reaching in. Again, while the, the unit A was out, uh, 
out of, out of uh, and, and Jones was talking to him. Now they're back in, and they'll utilize the same attack system against that 3-2. There, the reverse pivot, but the shot comes up short. Joe Ord of SLV Middle School grabbing the board. Rodriguez looking for Cam Jones and deflected out of bounds. That's back. what you're going to get from Rodriguez. You're going to get a little flash, but with that flash and hustle, you're going to get some turnovers. A couple of subs for the South. Okay, they'll run a play called box right here. Look for... Cam Jones possibly on the screen, the screener. Out of bounds will remain North Ball. Now, coach, coach is taking a very good time out. He's going to run an inbounds play, and he, he knows that this is a very important possession, and he's going to get there right now. Coach Pat Jones is going to draw it up in the huddle here. Right Talk. now, if you're the, right, right now, if I'm Coach Rapier. Let's here we go. Take right a listen here. to the huddle for Pat Jones. Tanner, Nick, Nick, I want you to the ball's over here. Okay. Nick, I want you to come around. Tanner, you're coming all the way to this weak side corner. But Joe, you're coming and pinning this guy. Cameron, you're diving and pinning this guy. All right. So we're looking for Joe and Cameron to have the inside position right there. And if not, you've got Tanner in that weak side corner. Nick, after you said it, you can come here. All right, now let's listen to Todd Kessler in his huddle. Rebound on three. One, oh. two, three. Rebound. So this is a play where both post players are going to look to seal their man and look for an easy layup bucket. So let's keep an eye on number 32, Joe Ord, and number 20, Cam Jones. Here we go. Somebody's going to swing around all the way to the side. And there, there he is. There's Sandor. Rodriguez. That's High arcing three, no, gets his own board oh, and nice dishes hit. the Jones in and out. And the foul called, and it'll be North basketball out of bounds, it looks like. See who the foul is called on here. Now it's gonna be on Justin Para with the push. So out of bounds for the North, trailing 23-11. 5-16 to go here in second quarter action of the Central Coast Middle School All-Star Classic. Nara Wang and John Pengelly with you on CTV Sports. And Cameron Jones inside, partially blocked, and there's Cooper Smith with the rebound. Nice seal by Jones, just couldn't convert the layup, but he did do a good seal. Now Smith, Smith is very comfortable with that ball out there. Great playmaker for Buena Vista, for the, the uh, South team. I like Cooper Smith, tough kid. Smith, top of the key, lefty, puts it up and in. I'm telling you, the kid's got it. The kid's dialing tonight. Cooper Smith, him and Simon, two lefties, doing it for the South squad. Swing around to Tanner Kane Murray. Now Rodriguez back to Murray from three long, and Rapier has the rebound. But he throws it away, trying to outlet it to Nico Jones, so the North gets it back on the turnover, trailing by 14. Murray's just a little bit off from that wing spot. As a shooter, you got to keep, keep positive, keep your head up. Inside the Jones, up and under. And draws the foul there on big number 50, Matt Shapiro. Yeah, Shapiro played some good defense, but it was a nice low post move. The up and under move by Cam Jones, who goes to the line shooting a deuce. Cameron Jones, as we mentioned, is the son of Patrick Jones, the coach of the seventh grade All-Stars. 25-11. 423 left here in the second. There's a nice shot of Cam. What a nice kid this guy is. Great kid. Oh, look, we got a little press going on, Nara. See so what this does. Pat Jones implementing the full court pressure. Look. Whoa. Nearly results in a turnover. It'll be a held ball. Very strong kid right there. Gavin Rapier, very strong boy. He is going to be something to watch in high school. And there's, wait a minute. High school, they're <laughs> seventh grade. Eighth, eighth grade, next year. Yeah, next year. I'm going to pay attention to him. There's Coop Smith. That's his teammate. Screen for Simon. Now trying to look inside the Shapiro. And shuffle the feet there, trying to get control of the basketball. Good weak side help by Rodriguez to make that turnover. All right. So Rodriguez will bring it up for the North squad. Trailing by 13 points here, halfway through the second quarter. Inside the Jones, and there'll be a foul from behind. 
Gavin Rapier doesn't like the call, but Jones stumbling a little bit, draws the foul. Coach Jones looks like he's gonna get Wolf back in as well as for the uh, South, number 43, Heitzman coming back in. We got That'll a CO. Timeout on the floor, called here, I believe, by Todd Kessler, his first timeout used with a big 13-point lead, 3.53 to go here in the second quarter. And so far, what do you think of how the pace of the game has been for both sides? Oh, I love it right now. I think right about now uh, the, the butterflies are gone, and now it's back to a regular game. you got to wonder, and I, and I will say this, is Pat Jones possibly saving his best combination of five for the second half? You know, we talk about unit A and unit B. Right. Maybe he's just doing it, and so I'm looking for the second half. Here's Smith right here. He's a gamer, only in seventh grade, but a nice left-hand toss shot, and he's been hitting the net. A high shooting percentage by the South team has enabled them uh, to take this 13-point lead, but I believe at the beginning of the game it was 15-2. So from that point, it's been back and forth ever since. Exactly. So Cooper Smith, let's talk a little bit more about him. His favorite athlete is Derek Rose, and so far he's been showing some Derek Rose type moves to get in the lane, like yep. that lefty move that he just made. Yep. Also plays football and baseball, and his favorite team is the Warriors, though. Oh, what, what, why are you looking at me like that? He Come likes on. Derek Rose, Come on, but his favorite team is the Warriors. That's our home team, isn't it? <laughs> well, you Southern California boy. Uh, no, I'm just saying that, you know, every, he doesn't have a favorite Warrior, though. His favorite <laughs> player is Derek Rose. That's a nice choice. It is a good choice. All right, so here's Jones inside. Three men around him, goes off glass. A little bit short, but grabs his own board. Kick to the corner, Rodriguez looking for Ibarra. And now they've gone a little bit big for Pat Jones. Ibarra yeah. and Jones both in at the same time. Yeah, this looks like a good unit. A little bit more what Jones might like right there. You know, these players are getting caught with some passes that Rodriguez is getting to them, but not ready. And Wolf with the three. Oh yeah, Wolf's gonna be that shooter that's gonna follow on from some great shooters at Aptos High School. Coach Joey Smith's gonna love to get him. And again, like you mentioned, amping up the defensive pressure, right. and that forces a little traveling call right there. Yeah, so that press did, did mix up the tempo a little bit, and I think this, is, this looks like the right unit for the North. A little bit bigger, and again, with Rodriguez running the show, right. Wolf also a good ball handler, yeah. though. Slowly creeping back is the North. Approaching three minutes to play in the second. Rodriguez, ball fakes. Now Orr on the right baseline. Gets it across to Jones, a dangerous pass, and Jones has it stripped. Smith up ahead and too far for Heitzman. So the pressure defense is allowing uh, the North to get some turnovers. So North having cut this deficit down to 10, 25-15. They were in a big hole early as the South jumped all over them. Wolf just hit a three, yeah. thought about another one. Rodriguez will take it. The high arcer, no good. But the big rebound by Wolf. And then a great move by Calderon to take it away. Yeah, great hustle. Nearly a backcourt there. And a travel a before Another the shot. turnover. Hey, don't tell me these teams don't want to win and this is no amateur game. They're, we got a great crowd and these got, players are getting after it. North and South County pride on the line between Santa Cruz and Monterey counties. I, I think Wolf should have pulled the trigger the last time he got it, Nara. Now he's gonna look to drive, kick to Ord. Ord up, didn't look for the shot, might have had one there, yeah. tried to force a pass to Jones instead. Now Smith double teamed in the backcourt, needs some help, and Calderon comes to help his teammate out. Calderon gets by Rodriguez, gets by Ibarra, gets by Jones! What the heck? AC, you're too cool, brother. Calderon going through the north lineup good, one by one. Good job by Abraham. Smooth. 27-15, back to a 12-point lead for the south. Wolf finds Jones on the baseline, and he travels before he can get the shot up. A couple of subs coming in, Biddle and Lasich for the north. Ord and Rodriguez will take a break with 1.37 to go till halftime. 27-15, South on top. Pat Jones just trying to find a combination that's gonna work yes. for the North squad. And Rapier, ooh, that looked pretty clean by Ibarra, yeah. but it'll be, it'll be a foul shooting. Possible three shots there? Two shots, foot on the line. Okay. 
Oh, see, Nara, that's why you're the X and O's person. I'm just a, you saw that. I didn't see that. Let's see. Let's watch it. Standard operating procedure. Two, three dribbles. Deep breath. Bend the knees. Follow through. Miss. Always got to go to the free throw line and do the same thing. It's the most different shot of any shot that you're shooting out there. You should have your own standard operating procedure, kids, when you're out there. 0 for 2 from the line, and Jones nice, nice box gets out the by board. Cam. Now Wolf looking to push. Like to see Lassich get inside there. Move around two. Biddle left side to Ibarra. Ibarra kick to Lassich. Lassich on the right wing, driving baseline. Nowhere to go, stopped. Wolf had it open, looked like he shuffled oh. the feet a little bit, but he spins oh. inside and just off. Jones with the board, fouled from behind. Two shot, it's coming at the line for Cameron Jones. What a nice move by, wow, by Jack Wolf. JW's doing some nice spin moves. Hey, you gotta give it up to Cam Jones working hard. Watch this move, spin, but there's Jones trying to seal his man right there, and he goes high up and just draws a foul. What Cam's got to do is become really good at the free throw line because he's going to be spending a lot of time there if he's going to continue to work. Let's see what Cam does at the free throw line. Made the first. Let's see what he does with the second. Here we go. One, two, three. Deep breath. Bend knees. Follow through. Got it. Nothing but net for Cameron Jones. 27-17. Ten points behind on the north here. I think if they could just get it under, under 10, into single digits before the half, the North will be okay. But Calderon's gonna be tough. So he is fouled and will go to the line to shoot to himself with about 54 and a half seconds left to go yeah. in the first half. Calderon, the David among Goliaths out there, but taking his little slingshot and do, slaying the dragon right there. Calderon, 12-year-old guard from North Monterey County, listed at 5'3". Oh, he's just been money all the first half. Nice shot of our crowd. That's really indicative of what's here tonight. Everybody's here. Supporting these youth players from Santa Cruz and Monterey County. Pat Jones goes small for the final minute here with Lamakia entering the game. Yeah, he's putting in an offensive unit. Calderon draining both. Puts it back up to 12 point lead for the South. All right, well, Wolf has some offense. Bill, he needs to hit that shot, and he's been cold his first half. Lasich grabbing the board, and he is fouled. Lasich versus Calderon there. We had 5'9 versus 5'3. Tough for Abraham Calderon. All right, let's see what they do out of this inbounds. They got some screens. There's Jones trying to get open. Nothing there whatsoever. Calderon being guarded by Lassich, pressure, but they're going to repair. Oh! And they call a travel. Contact there. Someone was looking for a foul either way, yeah. but instead they go with the travel. Here it is, right here. Nice defense by Evo Bassett getting back. He drops it off to repair, and repair does the. All right, so back to live action here. Wolf, top of the key, drive, kick, Traveling. and he shuffled. Too many steps, Lassich did get that one, but too many steps. There we go. So Todd Kessler telling his team to play for one shot here, 20 seconds to go in the first half, a 12 point south lead. Man to man defense by the north. Calderon all the way, up, no good, oh. travel. Took the extra step before putting it up and in. Yeah, somebody needs to make uh, Abraham go left because he's been going right all first half. Okay, now Rodriguez in for Biddle to try to get that one shot. Biddle not a good first half shooting. Very important for him in the second half to get some good warm-ups. Here we go. 13.5 to go. Look Wolf. for Rodriguez on the left-hand side to cast one. 10 seconds. Wolf, kick, Lamakia. There he is. Wolf, top of the key, no. Here's Rodriguez, open. Step, Step back. back. High Arthur, no. Rebounded by the South, and that's how the first half ends with the score, 29-17 in favor of the boys from the South, Monterey County leading Santa Cruz County by 12 here at the Central Coast Middle School All-Star Classic. We'll be back with halftime replays and a recap of the first half. You're watching CTV Sports presentation of the Central Coast Middle School All-Star Classic.
Welcome back to Scotts Valley High School, where it's the halftime of the first game, 29-17 South leading in the seventh grade game. And the Central Coast Motorcycle, Motocross, and Moped Store. The Nobby Shop is an authorized dealer for Cobra and TM motorcycles, along with Tomos Mopeds. Nobby Shop offers quality service, parts, gear, and accessories for all your street, motocross, ATV, and quad needs. All bikes, repaired, and prep services available in Soquel on Rodeo Gulch or on the web at NobbyShop.com. And Central Coast Diamond Fusion and window cleaning using patented Diamond Fusion nanotechnology restores the luster and glass, ceramic tile, porcelain, and granite. Commercial, residential, and auto glass and services can shine like new. Find out more at CentralCoastDiamondFusion.com. And... Narwang and John Pangeli joined by a special guest here, the founder, organizer of the Central Coast Middle School All-Star Classic, a legend in these parts, Santa Cruz High Zone, Reggie Stevens. Reggie, it's great to have you here. It's great to be here, and thank you, uh, you guys, for helping me put this event on, and it's, uh, I think it's a uh, great turnout so far, and it's just the seventh grade game, so, so yep. far, intense game. Still another game to go to eighth graders later on, and uh, you've got a vested interest in that, I know. With yes, your I son do. Yes, I that do. Game. But we'll get to that, but talk a little bit about why you wanted to start this event. Uh, the reason I wanted to start this event, first of all, I, you know, I have two mentors, actually three mentors, uh, Tony Hill, uh, rest in peace, he was one of my mentors. Pete Newell was one of my mentors, and Raymond Ferris, which was my trainer uh, throughout my college and NFL career. And uh, me and him, we helped start SAFFK, which is a nonprofit to help give back to kids. And uh, once I moved back here, that was kind of like my, my goal. I, I coached at Scotts Valley, I gave back there, then I started training kids on my own. And then I wanted to, you know, leave my name here some kind of way, but also help these kids out and the families that, don't, that can't afford AAU or some camp. So this is my way of giving back, help raise money, so uh, we can continue these kids with their success in athletics and things of that nature. Hey, Reggie, I don't know if you remember me, but I put on the Make-A-Wish Summer Classic. I used to play in that. I used to play on my brother's team. So I know about what it's like to, you've received, right. but now more, more importantly, it's to give back to the community and you're planting your seeds. And Correct. this is a great event to get that seed planting started. What else do you have in mind in that brain of yours for future events? Uh, future events, I do want to do some some things like the Make-A-Wish. Uh -huh. I don't know, we probably can't call it the Make-A-Wish, but we'll do some of that nature. Also, I want to get into uh, All-Stars for football because that's my background. Right. But uh, basketball was my background as well. I just was uh, a little short. Well, anything so. I can do to help you out on some of those things? Oh, yeah. I know we could put our heads together and do something good. But I want to tell everybody uh, around this a couple months ago, we held an eighth grade basketball tournament called the Ed Kelly Classic uh, down in Watsonville. It's been going on 18 years. And this young fellow comes up to me and he says afterwards, he goes, hey, I want to do something. I want to uh, put on some sort of an all-star day. And I say, hey, I'll be, I'm behind you, but I don't have the energy to do it. Lo and behold, about 90 days later, here we sit in Scotts Valley at the first annual North-South yes. Junior High. So good job. You not only talk the talk, but Reggie Stevens walks the walk. Yeah. So we're looking forward to this becoming an annual event, Reggie. I know you. that's what you want it, it will to be, be as well. An, it will be an, oh, look at hey, that. Still got the come ball. on, Sarah. <laughs> <laughs> it will be an annual event, and uh, hope. I, I mean, the way it turned out, but I would like to give thanks to Pat Monique Jones, uh, Raymond Ferris. Uh, it's, I mean, the list goes the on. The team. Tony Hill, you know, and his family. Tar Hill is actually here to present that ward, and I think nice. that's going to be a, you know, a nice special moment. That's awesome. great. Thank you very much for your time, Reggie. We're looking forward to seeing Kai J in the eighth grade game. All right. Thank you so awesome. much. All right. Thanks, All right. Reggie. Take care. And then let's take a look at the highlights from the first half of action here in the seventh grade game. Well, the first one is Rapier gets the ball in the middle and he does a nice reverse spin right over the top. And they started off top, but, but the North answers with Jack Wolf and a nice spin move. I mean, this is an intermediate move right there, up and under, a la Monte Ellis, and he nails it. Next one, Rippier at the top of the key, that reverse pivot. You don't see it too much, but a nice soft jumper and a nice follow through. Next we have Smith, the left-hander. He had a fantastic first half, both drives and outside. Now Lassich comes in for the north and answers. It's a nice baseline shot. There's Evo, he's very comfortable shooting out there, and they needed that. They needed the outside shooting because Biddle and Rodriguez did not hit. They go that short corner, the inside game right there to Ibarra. That's gonna work against the 3-2 zone. Nora? 
All right, so that's a look at what happened in the first half where the South leading 29-17. We'll come back with second half action of the seventh grade All-Star Game in the Central Coast Middle School All-Star Classic right here on CTV Sports. Scotts Valley High School, where today it's the Central Coast Middle School All-Star Classic, pitting the best seventh graders in this first game of a doubleheader. Eighth graders will be later. South leading by 12 at halftime. Nara Wang and John Pengeli back with you here. Courtside and a couple of big stat numbers to tell you from the first half for the North. Jack Wolf coming off the bench, seven points. Evo Lasic had three rebounds, but the South jumping out on the north. Abraham Calderon, 12 points. Jeremy Heisman, four boards, and they really just jumped on the north before they even knew what hit them. Hey, exactly, it was 15 to two before we knew what happened, but here's one thing I want to point out. Rodriguez and Biddle from the north did not hit anything from the outside, and really, they took about eight shots between them. They knocked down two or three of those, and we got ourselves a close game. So I saw Biddle in warm-ups warming up, and he was nailing them. So let's see if his timings, if he got used to this gym real quick. So a little bit different lineup now. Yep, different from the right. starters for the North squad as Lasich, Rodriguez, Biddle, right. Ibarra, and Orr will start the second I half. I think this is part of Coach Jones' chemistry that we talked about. South still working that 3-2 zone, it looks like. Yeah, it looks like it. Now Biddle to Rodriguez. North side now. Moving from left to right on your screen. And Lasich there couldn't handle the pass. Ibarra had it to him, that would have worked out well if he could have held on. Right, because you get that ball to the middle, you got a three on two when he turns. Cooper and Manny Marin, a little miscommunication there, so the turnover will go to the north. Right, there's a couple of different ways Coach Jones can attack this. He can get the ball right into Ibarra at the free throw line, and when he turns, he has two people on the base. So Lasich, left wing. Looking for Ord, covered well by Heisman. Now Lasich open. Shot no good, or tried to tip it, but there's Calderon. And Abraham Calderon. What a great first half he had. Man and Marin for three, no good, and Biddle, man and smallest Marin. man out there for the North, grabs the board. All right, there's an up-tempo with a nice pass. Rodriguez to Ord. Ord couldn't make it, but I like Ord's athleticism. Ord just a little too strong in the south now with Cooper Smith. Nikhil Manamarin. You got to put two guys on, on this guy. Gavin oh. Rapier looked for the foul. No call. And no order will bring it up. With Rapier. the glow shoes, Joe Ord all the way out of bounds, staying with the North. Rapier definitely demands a double team on the offensive end. He is very dangerous, and you need to get the ball out of his hands. Rodriguez taking the ball out. Looking for someone to get open. There's Biddle. Baseline. Good. That's a nice way to get off the char on the charts right there. Jack Biddle with a nice four-foot jump shot on the inbound play from Rodriguez. Here they are in a zone press. And Calderon breaking it. And there's Lasich, the last man defending with the steal. And Ord running the floor up and no good short. And Ord, what he's got to do right there is not get down about missing it, but go after the board. He got to follow right it's, there. Exactly. You got to think next shot, next step. Let's brush it off. Let's take a look at the, the replay here as he maybe took that extra dribble that he, dribble that he didn't need to. Right, and you know what? He, he, could, he needs to work on his left hand because he was on the left side. Okay, let's see what a big Ibarra. Now, Ibarra and Lasic went at it in the championship game. So you could see with uh, that's a great matchup there. But you also saw the, the, the chemistry of Lasic to Rodriguez for that fast break hitting Ord. So this is a little bit better lineup. Let's see, they got it under 10. There's a bar at the free throw line. Spinning that ball, doing it, getting his SOP down. Takes his time, nails it. Two for two for a bar from the line, cutting the lead to single digits. We got a 1-2-1-1 one, one, one zone press by the North. Biddle knocks the ball out of bounds as the North trying to rally here in the second half. Trailing by eight, 29-21. About a minute 50 in to the second half. Pat Jones trying to step up the pace by putting on the press. Cooper Smith trying to drive on Biddle. Looked like he traveled. Yes, he did. Yeah. I mean, that, Smith wanted to take advantage of his height over Jack Biddle right there, and he got caught traveling. Now Here comes Rodriguez, the North. Rodriguez, who he's the state champion in the Elks Lodge hoop shoot. 
program in the 12 and 13 year old division. I mean, that's an impressive stat. And he goes from long distance three. And yeah, and that's, that's the difference between the first and the second half with Biddle and Rodriguez being cold. And that's what Sandor needed to get unleashed. State champion, going for the state championships in Vegas. Wow. Calderon. Nice now, energy by the North. Simon and Heisman fighting for it amongst themselves. And that's going to stay south ball. Looks like, no, it's going to go the other way. Thought it went off for Rodriguez. Yeah, I did too. North got a break there, but I like the energy that. Oh, correction. And it's a correction, yeah. It did think, go off of Rodriguez. I think it was Coach Ripper's stance right there with both hands above his head. Here's a nice shot of it. Great job by the camera work right there. There it is. Yeah, Sandor got it. Good job, guys. Inside, now Simon, right wing, Smith, trapped by Biddle. Now Calderon with Rodriguez on him, and Rodriguez will get called for the rebound. Yeah, Sanders playing defense with his hands, and he's got to move his feet. He's just got to do it. That's something that he has got to be better at because he could pick up some ticky-tack fouls, and Notre Dame's going to need him in the game next year. Smith. The right baseline gets the screen from Rapier. He'll fire the three. No spin on that one. It'll go long. Ibarra got to find a guard to get it yeah. to. Got to exactly, Nara. Good call there. Now Calderon trying to drive off of Ord. And out of bounds for the South. South having their lead cut down to five with 5.04 left to go in the third quarter of action here. You see Todd Kessler there trying to get his South squad to regain the intensity that they had in the first half. Now inside, Jeremy Heitzman back in or down and draws the foul on the shot. Yeah, anytime you get you're playing post defense and you're playing directly behind the your man, you're in trouble. You're better off fronting him and looking for weak side help with Lassett right there. It's just no man's land if you're a good post player. You want the guy on your on your back. There's Jeremy Heitzman. Nice 5'10 forward out of North Monterey. Nice size kids coming out of there. Looks like we got Cam Jones checking in along with number 22, Otis La Machia. La Machia. La Machia. La Sopranos. Machia. There you go. La Machia needs to hit that open shot. It's a little cold in the first half. Off with both free throws, and Cam Jones gets the board right off the All bench. right. Well, it's a five point game. North clawing themselves back into this thing. Lasich, swing it. Dangerous pass. Calderon tipped it. Now Lasich on the left. Driving in, puts it up and in. It's down to three-point lead Evo. for the South. The home land in Konavli Valley, Croatia, is loving you right now. Evo with the bucket there's, there. There's and now the, a turnover. Lamacchia with the steal. The press is causing problems. Look at Sandor. The spin move. Tried to go behind the back and turned it over to Simon. You're going to get that with Sandor, I'm telling you. Now Rapier drives on Ibarra, misses it, but Heisman there in the block by Cameron Jones, and a traveling call. Wow. Coach Jones has his team playing up-tempo, defensive intensity has improved, and it's changed the complexity of this ball game very quickly. It's a three-point game. He's coaching it up, Nara. He's coaching it up. Halfway through the third quarter here, and things have tightened up considerably. The North trailing at the halftime by double digits is. has cut it down to three points. Coach Pat Jones, the North, happier with what he's seeing here in the second half yeah, out of his absolutely. squad. And the travel there by oh. Simon, a little too anxious the, to get to the The board. turnovers Bucket. are causing uh, the South much dismay right now, but it's because of the North's intensity defense. And there's a good shot of the team hustling off the court. So. Calderon giving Cooper a slap on the back. Quick 20-second timeout called by Todd Kessler as he just wants yeah. to get his squad back and focused in this game as they've seen their lead cut down to three here in the third. Little confusion right there. Kessler's trying to get his team to play together, to not panic, to take care of the ball. They've turned the ball over a lot in this the beginning of the thing, and it's because of the North's defense. 
And again, we saw them get out to such a great start. Yeah. Part of it is maybe like you mentioned at the beginning, a lot of Buena Vista players playing together, used to playing together, only had maybe a week of practice time right. with these all-star squads. So now the North maybe have figured out a little bit more of how to play together. They yeah. used to play against each other, yeah, not together. Absolutely, and uh, team chemistry is, is huge. Here's a picture of Evo Lasic. When he puts that ball on the, you know, Lasic is a, a really weird cat here because he has the outside game, but he also has the low post. Now Lasic is, he's gonna run in the in the 6-1, 6-2 range in high school, so he's better facing the basket than uh, posting up. And he has a lot to live up to. His three older sisters were all ASCCAL players at St. Francis. Yeah, that, that would be Martina, uh, Iva, Iva, and Martana, Anna. And, yeah. I mean, they're just, those girls, they really got after it. Great high school careers by all three girls, but we got the brother coming up shortly. Rodriguez, the high arcing three. No good, and the call is gonna be a push from behind. Looks like it may be on Rodriguez trying to follow his miss. Yeah, what do you think of that high arc shot? A little bit too much, I think I it's think. a little too much right there. I really do, I really do. And I think it's maybe something as, a youngster, as a you sure know, his, shorter height, he's tried to do that to get it over guys, but yeah. as he grows up, he's gonna have to yeah. not get that much height. I'm sure his coach, Johnny Kane, next year, the eighth grade coach at Notre Dame, will work with him over the summer as well. Because also, it slows your release down if you're trying to get that It really high does, up. it really does. I think it's just a little abnormal. All right, look at here's this press. This is what has the South confused. So Nico Jones will try and get it to Gavin they got Rapier. A trap right there. Rapier with a dangerous pass and turns it over to the north. But press has definitely caused the south problems right here. So give it up to Coach Jones for putting his team in this predicament. But I love this Wolf kid, Nara. This Wolf kid has it. Leading score for the north in the first half. Jack Wolf of Aptos Junior High swings it. Tanner Kane Murray for three, and we have a tie oh. ball game at 29. TKM from downtown. And the block called there on Wolf. So the North has crawled all the way back to tie up the score at 29. 3 wow, to go good here job. in the third quarter. Well, between Jack Biddle from B40 and TKM from SLV, they got that outside shooter they need. They're getting some scoring. Jones to Calderon. Rapier open, but Calderon says, I'm gonna take a three and make it. Oh, Abraham has been feeling it all day long. Abraham. God, Calderon. I feel the energy here. It's great. Now Lasich in the left corner. Back to Wolf. Wolf swings it to Lamakia. Now Again. Murray, he just hit a three. Oh, rims out. Jones with the board. And he will get the foul. Cameron's great. That probably shouldn't have counted. It looked like it hit the uh, support, but uh, almost went in anyway for yeah. some razzle-dazzle. I love Cam Cameron's animation right there. He's really an am animated kid, a great kid. You could tell by his demeanor. I mean, if there's any knock against him, I would think maybe Monique would agree with me. He got to get a little tougher inside, but he's just such a nice kid. See, Pat's the calm one. Monique is the intense one. And if, if he gets Monique's intense inside, look out for this kid in the SEC. Off with the second free throw and the south though, rebound. Calderon trying to look ahead, this throws press, it away. This press has got them discombobulated. Look at the hustle. Look at these all-stars hustling. Nara all over the floor. Oh. Tanner K. Murray comes up with it. Lamakia, Wolf top of the key, pump fake, drive, dish. Jones is blocked and the foul is called on Rapier. Yeah, and if Jones can continue working that inside, he's got a good free throw stroke. He can get anywhere from six to 10 points at the free throw line right there. See the good dish off on the drive by yeah. Jack Wolf. So Wolf showing a little, he can take it to score, he can also yeah. take it to dish. Let's watch Cam at the line right there. What do you think of Cam with the, maybe a little bit behind the line? Yeah, I don't think he checked himself right there. Nari, you're picking up on all these good things, my man. So Cameron Jones, that's part of his, maybe that's part of his SOP is to set up a little oh, bit behind the line. you are a quick learner, Wang. You are a quick learner. <laughs> I'm telling you. Scott, yeah, I think you're right. But he misses both. Yep, he went short on him. That was the difference. So the North still trailing by two. Calderon leading the way for the South. 15 points. He hasn't missed a shot yet. 
and he's three for three from distance. You know, what's really hurt, I believe, the South, and it not really, I mean, the North, not really hurt is, is Rapier not being in, number 34, Gavin Rapier, and I'm sure we'll see all of him in the fourth quarter. So this is a time where we need to get everybody in the game. Lassic in the left corner, now Wolf. Rose is looking to get the pass, but Wolf dribbling, now Rose will get it. Lassic going to high post, inside the low post, Cam Jones to, to, to Lassic. Oh, oh, and a nice little over the left shoulder in the lane for the bucket to tie it up. And we're bucked, not since 0-0 have we been tied up. Mulhern off the side. Oh, Mulhern, nice follow. Loose ball will stay with the South. 121 to go here in the third quarter. We've got a tie ball game at 32. Santa Cruz County, Monterey County fighting it out in the seventh grade game of the San Coast Middle School All-Star Classic. North. Trevor Simon blocked by Lassen. Good job by Evo. There he is in the open court. Got to make good decisions. Throws up, block, rebound to Tanner Kane Murray. Saves it to Lassic. The pull up long, and that'll be softball. Lassic there tried to go coast to coast. Block, rebound, drive, almost had the assist. Rose just couldn't quite get it up. Here's the press. Oh, Wolf should have had that one right there. Now Simon, the lefty, dumps it off to Hickman. Just Daniel nothing Hickman. inside for this team. They have to get repair back in in this fourth quarter under a minute to go here in the third jack wolf double teamed in the zone at the top murray thought about the three last foot on the line long two no good jones there, another board four. by cameron great job by jones and off the glass and in and for the first time in the game the north squad leads cameron jones is working his tail off underneath and it's paying dividends for the north pull up three by mohern is no good long rebound daniel hickman now Simon, the lefty. They have no low post scoring. Calderon it's, from three. It's the Abraham lead, Calderon. The who, knew, who needs the inside post scoring with AC out on the court? Five seconds to go here in the third. Rose drives baseline, gets it up, and gets it in. And the Whoa. North will have the lead at the end of three. 36-35, Santa Cruz County All-Stars leading in the seventh grade game. Oh, yeah, baby. This is a... This is going to be one heck of a fourth quarter, Nara. Wow, have things gotten interesting here at I'm Scott Valley you, High? This is where it's out. I got to give it up, hey, Nara. Abraham Calderon for the South has kept this team in the game all three quarters. Again, with Gavin Repair on the bench in the third quarter, there was virtually no inside scoring, and it was up to Abraham Calderon to just keep his team in this game. On the other side of the coin, it was it was uh, Sandor Rodriguez, Evo Lasic, and, and Cameron Jones. There you go, Nara. Let's take a look at some replays from the third quarter action between the, the North squad and the South squad. Here, just a scramble, all out scramble on the floor. Yeah, there's Cameron Jones diving in. I want a piece of that rock. And there's TKM, Tanner Kane Murray. He gives it up to Wolf. Wolf pump fake. Defenders left their feet. He gives the dish to Cam underneath. Cam gets a shot blocked, but it was uh, the defenders from Buena Vista are leaving their feet, and you should never do that on the perimeter. You got to learn to close out. So we take a look at the South squad there. Todd Kessler and his assistant Henry Rapier talking it over, trying to discuss strategy as they are trailing here going into the fourth quarter after leading the majority of this game. But 36 35, the North climbing all the way back in it after that. Horrible start to the game. Yeah. They've gotten the lead here to begin the fourth I quarter. I don't see Cooper Smith or Gavin Rapier in for the South, and that is, a, that is a concern. And, of course, if you want DVD copies of this game, you can get them for $25. Go to communitytv.org slash dubs or call 831-425-8848 for more information. As we start the fourth quarter here with a turnover by the South and the North with the one-point lead, Pushing it the other way with Jack Wolf. All right, Wolf to TKM, Tanner Kane Murray. Bet you bar on the baseline for Big Mission Hill. They're five. Wolf spin move. Tough move. He kicks it out to TKM. Nothing there. Rose for three. Long on the shot. Ibarra with the board. Looks to Cameron Jones. Jones, low post. Fall away jumper, good for Cameron Jones. Oh, Jones is doing it from the inside and the outside, working hard. The South sure misses Rapier. 
and the full court pressure by the North squad. Paying dividends in the second half as Mulhern trying to find an open man. Finds Simon, long two up, in and out. Rebound fought for, it'll remain south ball. Daniel Higman tracking it down. Now Mulhern kicking it to Simon on the right side. Calderon hasn't missed a shot yet. Covered up well by Tanner Kane Murray. Now the big man Shapiro driving from the high post and couldn't quite get it up and in. Cameron Jones protecting the rebound. Oh, Cameron just having a great game. Here we go, Wolf. He has that spin move down. A very intermediate move for a seventh grader. Really impressed at his size and speed. Ibarra open in the lane, doesn't get the roll. And Matt Shapiro ripping down the board. Here they come. And I think Cooper Smith's gonna be joining him. We got some subs coming in the game. Exactly what I thought. Smith and Revere both coming in. Trevor Simon, right wing three, no good. Rebound, loose, and Tanner Kane Murray of SLV Middle School picks it up. Wolf, very comfortable at the point guard position. Joey Smith's got to be licking his chop if he comes to Aptos High on that one. Tanner Kane Murray, not good. TKM, nothing. A bit long. Straight on, and now Calderon, the star of the South Squad today, will bring it up. Pull up, three. No good. The first miss of the game by Abraham Calderon and Nick Rose grabs the board, but then he threw it away. Daniel Higman, put on the line, no good. Out of bounds, north ball, and we'll have some subs. Good hustle there. Nara Wang and John Pengeli here at Scotts Valley High. It's the Central Coast Middle School All-Star Classic on CTV Sports. We've got a good one here in game one of two, a basketball doubleheader for you today. It's the north leading 38-35 over the south. South led virtually the entire game until the end of the third quarter, but the North has steadily come back. Well, we have a completely different team in here for the South right now, and look for the South to go to, into Rapier and Cooper Smith to dominate the ball. Inside, Ruben it's Ibarra, turnaround, puts it off glass, Ruben Ibarra. Big Ruben El Jefe. 40-35 the lead, and Wolf with a big defense, knocking it out of bounds. And you can see the North squad is pumped up. Yeah, they're getting pumped. This defense is making their offense happen, Nara. And the press is causing all sorts of problems for the South. Nikhil Manumera driving the baseline. Pull up. Blocked by Jones. Rose picks up the board. And he'll find Rodriguez to Wolf. Now they're going to look to push. Wolf doesn't see any numbers, so he pulls it out smartly. Guarded by Cooper oh. Smith. Oh, the low dribble. Nice, some nice handles there. Now Rose. 3-2 zone by Buena Vista. Ball knocked out of bounds, remains north ball. They have not changed their defense all game. They're still in that 3-2, and that corner shot's gonna be open. Coach Jones gonna draw up a play right here. So Coach Jones will take the timeout here with his squad leading by five, 4.55 left in this Remember game. Following this game and Todd a Kessler, we take a look at him in the huddle, trying to draw something up to get his south squad right. back on track. I mean, with, with Jones being as active as he is defensively, as well as uh, Ibarra, where's the scoring going to come from? Let's, Let's take a listen to Todd Kessler in the huddle. Three is going to come out, you've got to front the man on this side, okay? One's going to help here, too. Remember, you're only this far, four, you're only this far. All right, let's not all shift and get caught for the pass coming back. But their offense is here, here, this guy pops out, the ball comes here, this guy comes to the ball here, this guy comes all the way over here, the ball rotation back here, shot. If four and two, they've done a three, two, so yeah. now you guys are in two, three, three. it should be easy. Three. Five to go all day long. Kessler telling the defense what the North's offense is going to do. I think he's going to switch it and move his defense to a 2 3 zone versus the 3 2. Let's see how they set up. A couple of stats for you for the North Cameron Jones, 10 points, 6 rebounds to lead the way, and Jack Wolf has 7 to help out the cause. So now Wolf thought about the 3 off the inbound. Pull it out, Rodriguez, the high arcing three. And the rebound fought for, and out of bounds, it's gonna be North basketball. Good hustle by the, the North to keep that ball alive. Rodriguez couldn't hit that play. You see the North eighth grade squad there yeah, watching. They, they can't wait to get out here. Wolf, the long jumper, no good. And now the South will try and go back. Rapier to Justin Para. 
Hara on the left side. Has it taken by Wolf with a foul call there on the reach. Wolf can't believe it. Oh, Justin Para, boy, he got he got some help right there. And he's loving the ref for that call. Got him with the hold. Wolf is just a physical specimen out there. There it is right there. Justin picked up his dribble. Wolf comes in, but Wolf gets tagged with the call. Cooper Smith has got to get involved and use his moxie to lead this team back. And there he fires up the shot. No good. The rebound being fought for and a held ball. Possession looks like it's going to the north. Wolf working real hard out there. Great physical specimen, seventh grader. Unreal. What a good body he has on him. Basketball savvy. Nice dribbling technique at his size to be point guard. Reminds me of Willie Burkett from St. Francis Sharks. So Joe just came back in for Nick Rose. Now it's a 2-3 zone, so now instead of the... Ibarra forces one up, can't get it. Jones with the save, Ord's got it, and he puts it in. And everything's going right. Everything's going right for the North. North with a seven point lead now. Here's Cooper Smith looking for Para. Let him a little too much, and here's Wolf ahead of the pack, and he will lay it up and in. And Jack what? Wolf puts it to a nine point North lead. And this game has completely swung around 180 degrees from the first half. Uh, and there, a reach-in foul called on the north side. Rodriguez got tagged for the foul right there. Again, playing with your hands a little bit too much. The fourth foul on Sandor Rene Rodriguez. So he will come out of the game. Lamakia in to replace him. And Cam Jones will get a break as well. As Lasic back in good for the north squad. Good, good, good second half by Cam Jones right there. Here's Para, guarded by Lamakia. The man, oh, the man. That's a little bit of a carry, it looked like, but yep. they get away with it. And now the shot up and no good. Rebound loose, and Lasic comes up with it. They have been stuck on 35 for a while, Nara. There we go, Wolf with the ball. Again, now we're going to 2-3 zone, and now your corner shots, your wing shots are open, not the baseline anymore. There's Wolf, Wolf trying to sell one. The double team. Up ahead now, Rapier inside, no good. Hara gets the rebound. Mana Marin for three, good! Oh, that was needed, great shot by number 45, Nick Hill Manamera. So the South cuts the deficit to six, trailing 44-38 here in the fourth quarter. That's your shot open right there. Your wing shot will be open. It's two guys being guard, trying to guard three. Wolf driving baseline. Stuck, no one to get it to, finds Ibarra. Ibarra puts it up, off glass, no good, and Rapier with the rebound. I want to see Ibarra inside getting the ball. He doesn't need to be shooting on the perimeter. And just like that, Jones, Coach Jones didn't like that either. Manamarin up and fouled, and he'll go to the line to shoot two. And I don't think Coach Jones liked Ibarra shooting from the outside. That big of a kid needs to be inside. There's Cooper Smith. Gets a little pa pass to Nikhil Manamarin there. Nikhil needs these the free foul. throws. Nara needs these free throws. <laughs> Got it. Love those Mike Nets. First shot is good for Nikhil Manamarin. Also and a baseball player in his spare time and his favorite athlete, Michael Jordan. Not, not a bad choice. He's wearing the, the number 45 for Michael Jordan. Oh, Nara, nice. I'm telling you, you did your homework on Google and Yahoo last night. Good job. The 45 was no Jordan's number when he decided to come back after baseball. Nora Wang, you are impressing me. Here we go. 44 Again, 2 3 zone by Buena Vista. All they got to do is whip the ball around the top, and somebody's going to be open for a wing shot. And a high post open, too, if they get someone there. Ord gathers no good rebound to the south no they're gonna lose it out of bounds and the north keeps possession under two minutes to go here in the seventh grade game of the central coast middle school all-star classic and the south coach todd kessler calls a timeout with his team trailing by four yeah kessler wants a timeout right here 
So you see Boy. Coach Pat Jones assisted by Chris Rose, both of their kids playing here in the game. I believe Chris is a, a assistant coach at New Brighton where Stu Walters was a coach a couple years ago too. And a reminder, we've got DVD sales. If you want copies of this game, they are available for $25. Learn how at communitytv.org slash dubs or call 831-425-8848 for more information. What a great Christmas present that is. Now let's take a look here at some action from the south side. Well, it's a, Montemara has a nice setup shot from three-pointer, and at what good form right there, and a good stroke follow through by Nakil Manamara. I like that Manamara. I'm getting hungry. Marinara, Manamara. <laughs> La Macchia, uh, yeah. Manamari. I'm telling you, this is an Italian. There's Coach Jones. This game ain't over it with at all right there. He's trying to, good job with coaching. Uh, again, I will tell you that uh, as a coach, Coach Jones at Santa Cruz for the varsity girls, him and Monique, his wife, have done just an excellent job, an excellent coach to hang out with. If you want to get into coaching, that's somebody you should call to hang out with and go to his practices and learn. And he's also coached his son the last couple yes. of years at Mission Hill. Absolutely. The full okay. Court pressure. And a foul is going to be oh. called here. And now we're going to be in the bonus situation for the South. Right. And I'm one and one. I'll tell you, these free throws are huge. Who's going to the line? Is Nick? Nikhil? It looks like Nikhil Manamarin will be the free throw shooter for well, the South. Now, now this is the lineup. If you're uh, the South with Cooper and Calderon in as your guards. These are the guys you want. You have Manhill play in the three, and then you have your big guys down low. Nikhil, these are huge free throws for you, so great job right there, making it a one possession game at this point. One more shot. Before got him, Bo. It's a game now. No need to foul, you just gotta play defense. Where's the, where's the North going to go for their basket? Are they going to go inside to Jones? Or are they going to keep it outside with Lassage? 44-42, the score. There's Lassage. Lassage. Looks like the North using up some clock. Lassage left wing, back to Wolf at the top. Now Lamakia on the right side. They've got to shoot a cutter. Evo's got to cut across. That middle is wide open. Trying to look for Orr. Look at that middle. Look at that middle. Now when it Wolf. goes to the wing, shoot over. They're just going to work the ball around. It looks like they're going to wait for you to get a great shot inside by Cameron Jones, who okay. misses it. There we go. Calderon and Cooper running the point for the south. Here we go. Abraham Calderon, three straight away. No, oh, misses everything. He would have brought the house down. A couple of subs coming in for the north as Rodriguez and Ibarra come back in. Out of row, and after such a hot so, start, has missed his last two shots. Two Notre Damers, two Mission Hills, and throwing an Aptos Maverick right there, an Aptos Sea Dragon. You got some of the best talent in the North being represented right now. So a timeout called here. 101 to go in regulation. 44-42. North ahead of the South after a game in which we saw the Dow South dominate for virtually three quarters, lost the lead at the end of the third quarter, and then have come back, and now it's a tight one with a minute left to go, and that's uh, Jeffrey Dunn there. Long-time Santa Cruz resident and author, Jeff Dunn, big supporter of, of and the lives of Sarah, the lives of Sarah Palin, that's right. And you know what, Jeff done really a great job with supporting youth sports and high school sports in Santa Cruz, predominantly Santa Cruz High School, uh, definitely one of Coach Newell's favorites. There's Coach Jones right there. He Let's Sandor listen in. Around. Can we just clear him out? Okay, clear out for Sandor, Ruben, come away from Sandor. If you want to, Ruben, you come to the top of the circle here, just stand there instead of pick. He got Sandor down. Be patient. If you got a layup, take it. If, we, if they're staying in man, Okay, so basically right now he's anticipating the south pressing. And all he wants to do is get into Sandor Rodriguez from Notre Dame and clear out. Sandor can handle anybody one-on-one -on -one in the open court. Now what he's also said was, if you have a layup, attack it and go for it. But if it's not there, don't worry about it. No need to score. So here we go. Well, 
They're not going to press. They're going to hang back. Again, we have no shot clock in junior high, Nara, so they can basically hold the ball. Old four quarters tactic. Yeah. So let's see what yeah, the, the South squad does. Are there's they going to no come reason out? to attack. So they're going to put a little more pressure on. Staying in the zone, however. And now Lasich, the three from the wing. No. Rebound is oh. going to go for the South. Oh, get the ball to Cooper. Now Smith. Watch out for Calderon, who could be open. Smith looks to go all the way. He puts it in. We have a tie ball game. 44 apiece. Oh, you couldn't have asked for a better ending to a seventh grade all-star game, Nara. Now Wolf will find Lassish. Don't settle for the three, North. Get it inside to Cam Jones. 22 Barra. seconds to go. Wolf at the top, and Pat Jones wants a time. I didn't like what he saw there with the ball just around the perimeter. I'm wondering if we can get a camera into Pat Jones's huddle right now, because this would be very, very interesting. 20 seconds to go here. The score is tied, 44-44. Here we go. North and south, and wow. Can you believe it's come down to this? Unbelievable, this is excellent. This is what we wanted. So, Pat Jones drawing up the play for his North squad. They have the ball. Who are you looking for the ball to go to? I have to say, being, being from Pat Jones's camp, I would like to see a, a dribble penetration, a dribble penetration with a short inside pass or a post up and get to the foul line. I don't think they want to settle for an open look from the outside, not at this juncture. And of course, it looks like the South is going to stay in that zone. They played a zone the entire game. First it was a 3-2, then now they right. switch to a 2-3, but it looks like they're willing, and they want the North squad to try to take a long distance three. Right. You might have a dribble and kick, a dribble penetration kick. We know that Lasich can attack from the left side here. Here we go. So last minute instructions from Pat Jones. And uh, the North squad is also out of timeouts. So they're going to have to get it done here without any more help from the bench. There's a nice shot of Evo Lasich. Family's from Croatia. Longtime Paro Valley resident, the Lasich family. There so we go. Jack Wolf to Lasich on the left wing. Now Wolf. They're going to try and get the last shot off. Ten to go. Rodriguez on the right side. Five seconds to go. Lasich drives, puts it up, puts it in! With under a second Evo goal, that's Lassich. it! The North wins Evo on a driving Lassich layup hits the by game Evo Lasich. And he's Look at they're his going team. nuts! Evo Lasich on the feet from Sandor Rodriguez on the wing. You couldn't have asked for a better finish. What an ending to the seventh grade game of the Central Coast Middle School All-Star Classic. And that's just game one of a doubleheader here oh, on CTV I'm Sports. too old for this, Nara. Unbelievable. Here's the replay, Nara. You want to take it through it? All right. So as you said, Rodriguez found Lassage. He drives. Smith tied the strip, and he puts it up and put it in for the winner. There it is. Look at and the excitement on these kids. on the North squad. Jubilation. 46-44 is your final. Game one of the Central Coast Good Middle School All-Star Classic. The seventh graders and Santa Cruz County prevails over Monterey County in a tremendous seventh grade basketball game. No, coaching, well coached by both teams. We're getting together. Awesome. So when we come back, we're going to wrap up game number one and get you ready for game number two. But wow, not a better way to start off this Central Coast Middle School All-Star Classic right here on CTV Sports. Game one of the Central Coast Middle School All-Star Classic goes to the boys from Santa Cruz County, 46-44 over the boys from Monterey County. This presentation on CTV Sports is brought to you by the Al Family Properties. The All-Star Classic and the television broadcast have been made possible in part by a generous grant from the Al Family. And Central Coast Diamond Fusion and Window Cleaning. Using patented Diamond Fusion nanotechnology, restores the luster in glass, ceramic tile, porcelain, and granite. Commercial, residential, and auto glass and services can shine like new. Find out more at centralcoastdiamondfusion.com. And the Central Coast Motorcycle, Motocross, and the Moped Store. The Nobby Shop is an authorized dealer for Cobra and TM motorcycles, along with Tobos Mopeds. Nobby Shop offers quality service, parts, 
gear and accessories for all your street, motocross, ATV, and quad needs. All bikes repaired and prep services available in Soquel on Rodeo Gulch or on the web at knobbyshop.com. And welcome courtside, Nara Wang and John <laughs> Pengeli here. And John, you could not ask for a better game to start us off on this double header. 46-44, the seventh grade boys from the north beating the team from the south, Monterey County, after the Monterey County had jumped up to such a huge lead. Yeah, it was unbelievable. The defensive pressure by the north, Pat Jones, the press, really caused the south problems, and that turned the momentum of the game and switched it down 15-2 to a victory at the end. Great job by Evo Lassus. Let's Here's take a, a look at the highlights from the game. There's Biddle for that four-footer. He got off, the, got off the thing. And then we have Calderon. When he gets set up and, and fires, he's nothing but money, and he was money all day today. Great job by Calderon. points in the eight, game eight, for Calderon. Got to give it up. Okay, we have Lasich missing from the outside, but it was the work inside by Cam Jones, who did a great job in the second half. Again, Calderon, when he gets set with his shot, he is money, and he was money for 18 points today. Great job. Can't leave him open. Good job. Again, who's working underneath when the shots are missing? For, for the North, it was number 20, Cam Jones, working inside. He had the up and under move working. There's the up, fake, fade shot right there. And then we have, from the South, we have Cooper Smith. And this bucket here by Smith tied the game near the end. Yeah, this was clutch basket, Nara. Just drove all the way up, tied the game at 44, but then coming back the other way, Evo Lassic. With the game tied, they started their play at 10 seconds, and now here's the finish of Lassic going over the top for the floater. And look at the emotion of these kids. Don't tell me this game was just for fun. They mob Evo Lasich at the end of the game. Yeah. A tremendous ending to game number one of our doubleheader here. And we can't wait to get the eighth graders on the floor. Oh. Game two of the doubleheader. I'm telling you, they look, they look five years older already, and it's only one year. Concluding thoughts, Nara, for me on this game, it looked at that it was that chemistry factor that worked well for the South early. But the North, through their defense and constant pressure, changed the momentum of the game from a defensive standpoint. All right, so when we come back, we'll have game two of the Central Coast Middle School All-Star Classic. The eighth grade boys take the floor from the north and the south. But final score from game one, 46-44, the game winner at the end by Evo Lasich. You're watching it all here on CTV Sports.